Hello everyone, the Anthony S. You're not alone. I want to talk to you today about uh, whether or not you're egotistical. And I bring this up because it is pretty important in terms of leadership. It's something that I think over time I've done once in a while. I think there's been longer streaks than others. And especially the farther you go back into my history because I just wasn't as self-aware. But the reason I bring this one up, especially now, is because we all have this need to be uh, the best presentation of ourselves all the time in front of people. And it's to the point now, for some it's so important that it's getting in the way of actual relationships and communication. Even to the point that no one can really have a a reasonable argument now without there being some sort of feelings hurt. Or some sort of it doesn't matter what you say, I'm correct mentality. And I want to be very clear with with this right here. That's not how it should be. I, there's no black and white on that one. There's always two sides to every story. Now, sometimes there's one side's way more overwhelming than the other. But in terms of e being egotistical or being, you know, leading with your ego, you should never just automatically assume you're right. It's always one of those things where you take in another opinion and you say, I I understand what you're saying. Unfortunately, I don't agree with you. And that can be okay. And that's not being necessarily, you know, angry or weird in any way. It's a function of people get confused between confidence and cockiness or confidence and ego, you know, using your ego. Confidence is a form of having trust in people and people having trust in you. That's what confidence really is. It, it, it almost equates to trust when you look in the def dictionary. Ego is more of a better than you style when it comes to the definition. And it's kind of hard to talk about this because the, the line is so fine that should you cross it i mean it's 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 so it's small as soon as you are egotistical it's noticeable with indefinitely but you can play that line of confident in like kind of an, like you know funny a hole style there's there's leaders that can do that not many so kind of like on my side suggestion wise and what i've learned is just try to not do that at all <laughs> Try to lead with empathy and patience and go that route because for someone to start playing with that, that space, it's, it just doesn't work out usually. And especially when you're trying to solve a problem and someone like that is, is acting like that, you basically don't take their opinion anymore. In fact, it's happening a lot in politics right now where you have someone making a point and then someone puts a, a decent counterpoint up and says, what's what's your solution then? Like, if you don't agree with this, I'm bringing up a way to potentially solve it or the gray in it, how, what do you, how do you solve it? And then they just go back to their argument. They don't actually bring up a solution. That's leading with your ego a bit. You're basically on this righteous, you think you're righteous for what you believe in. And then that automatically gives you the right to not have to care about other people's opinions. That's part of it. Part of it's also just being a jerk. Part of it's also just being like you, you're never wrong. You are you never say I don't know. It's just almost aggravating to deal with someone like that. And I see it every day between people. And it makes me wonder how those individuals expect to change anyone's mind, especially in politics. Because you just have these people digging in deeper and deeper from the other side because no one's trying to have meaningful conversations and put trust in each other. So that's kind of that's kind of a, a more of a gray area one, and it's one that I'm trying to clear up a little more in myself. You can tell just in the way I, I talk about it, it's not quite an exact science in my head, but there's definitely a difference between confidence and, and ego in my mind. It's just a function of, you know, where does it where does it end and begin? 
This is the Anthony S. You are not alone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you lead with a little more compassion and empathy tomorrow or to talk to us with a little more compassion and empathy and show, show each other that you can trust and care and not know all the answers. I'll talk to you soon.